deforestation is a topic that we are all familiar with. But what is it? Well, deforestation is the logging and clearing of trees and forests. Deforestation has a big impact on ecosystems, animals, as well as people. Even worse, 80% of the world's forests have been cut down. If it's such a big problem, why is it still happening? Due to the immense demand of food products, industry-related products, and as the population increases, the need for urban area causes us to cut trees for even more land. Those are not even the only reasons. So, let's see how we, as a country, hold up. Canada is one of the countries with the most deforestation. It has 348 million hectares of forest lands, which represents about 9% of the world's forest cover. However, over the past 100 years in Canada, almost 400 million hectares of trees have been destroyed. Today, 34,200 hectares are cut down every year. That's 9.22 square meters of forest land destroyed per person annually. In fact, Canada is responsible for 21% of the world's virgin forests that were degraded between 2000 and 2013, more than any other country. Satellite imagery shows that there's severe loss of forest in northern prairies, British Columbia, northern Ontario, and Quebec. Only the Maritime shows significant reforestation. To find out more, let's talk to a worker in Canada's forestry. Hello, sir. How's Canada's economy related to deforestation? Well, the forest deforestation industry employs nearly 200,000 people a year. It's making a lot of money for the Canadian government, which is already hundreds of billion dollars in debt. A lot of the wood that we cut down here is traded as a raw resource towards the U.S. and Canada's other allies. Despite the benefits brought by forests in Canada, there are a lot of negative impacts. First of all, the loss of biodiversity due to the loss of habitats. Around 80% of Earth's plants and animals live in forests. Second, without forest covering the land, returning the water vapor into the air, and regulating precipitation, the poor soil will result in desertification and global warming. So how does deforestation have an impact on the life of local people? Let's talk to a member of the Grass Narrows, an indigenous group who lives in the north of Kenora, Ontario. Hi, what's your lifestyle like and how's deforestation affecting you? We live in the north of Kenora in Ontario and we sustain on nearby forest through hunting, trapping and fishing. Clear cutting is having a really big impact on the Grass Narrows because it's disturbing all the animals, the ecosystems, and it's really harming the environment. We hope that deforestation can stop. Now, interviewer Omar is going to talk to us about the awareness of Canadians. The Canadian Forest Service of Natural Resources have been collaborating with the oil and gas sector to control the impact of oil and gas extraction on forests and the government have set very rigorous laws regarding sustainability interview a teacher in Ontario about the awareness of Canadians. Hello Mr. Bose, thank you for your time. We're going to be asking you two questions today. One, how much knowledge do you think you possess on a scale of 1 through 10 regarding deforestation? Well, it ranges uh, from 1 to 10 depending on how much sleep I've had and how much food I've had. Uh, and final question. Do you believe deforestation in Canada is a great environmental problem? I do think it's a concern. We need to manage our forests very well. Mm, I agree. That's good. Thank you, Mr. Bote, for your time. Thank you. <laughs> now, we know human ignorance and an over-reliance on a non-renewable resource seem to be an absolute recipe for disaster. The true question is, can we, as citizens of Canada and the world, limit the negative impacts of deforestation? And the answer is yes. We can use more renewable resources to avoid extractions, use less paper and wood products, plant a tree, recycle. However, if you want to help out even more, buy products that are certified by Forest Stewardship Council, eat more vegetarian food to discourage raising large groups of livestock, become involved, follow, or donate to non-governmental organizations who are determined to put a stop to deforestation. Or, 
or just be calm and plant a tree. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>